Do you like your menu bar nice and clean and not have any clutter in it, but you still have all of those applications that are randomly popping up and want to put something up in the menu bar? then I think I have a tool for you and that is called Bartender. Now I have tested a bunch of tools in this realm because I really like my menu bar to be quite tidy and I also want to have access to all kinds of utilities that I might have installed on my Mac. Now sometimes I have my menu bar not quite as tidy as you can see right now with the iStat menus up here showing me all kinds of information about my system. This is something that I sometimes have active but sometimes I don't. The coolest thing about Bartender is that you can actually just make it so that you can click on any empty spot on the menu bar and you will actually have a secondary menu bar kind of showing up right below it, hiding all kinds of other application icons that are in the menu bar. And then you can actually just activate them by clicking on any of the icons, it will appear in the menu bar and you have full control over it. This is an absolute game changer because as you can see, there's tons of applications in my menu bar when I have the extended one that you can see here, some of them just showing status of my internal drive, of course, one password and many, many more that I want to have access to, but don't really need to see at all times. Now, when you get Bartender, there's a couple of settings that you might want to make so that you have a similar setup like this. And there's a very creative way that you can also make this a little bit more unique to your style. Now, the first thing that I would do is to enable the show menu bar items below so that is the one that you would set right here. And then I have set it so that the bartender has no menu bar item. So I disabled this because I don't need this because of the other setting, which is the click anywhere on empty space in the menu bar to be turned on. So that way you don't have any extra menu bar items from bartender and you can just click any empty space to actually invoke the lower bar. Then you have the menu bar items menu right here. And here you can actually choose what to show in the menu bar. And then you have the hidden bar items, which are the ones that are below the menu bar. And here you can also have these two special items. You can have the spacer, which will actually put a point right here. I think you can also configure this so you can make an emoji there if you want to. And then you have the new menu bar items appear here item, which basically means that those items should go into that place. Basically the main functionality of Bartender that I use to make sure that I have a cleaned up menu bar, but still have access to all of these applications that might be hidden behind the notch or just cluttering the interface while I'm not actually using them. The other really cool thing with Bartender is that you also have the option to style your menu bar. So for example, you can add a border and you can choose the border color. And now you have a border below the menu bar and you can actually also make this rounded. So you can make it that the menu bar has these round corners around it or have the full on bar from left to right as one long button kind of design. I for some time was using the white right here with a border of one. And this kind of gives the menu bar a little bit more clickability factor, I would say. You really easily see it at the top when you are using your computer. So that was something that I was using for a while. Right now I am doing the no border style. But another really added feature here is that you can actually also make this in different colors and you can actually choose what style you would like this to be. So in this case, for example, you can see, you can choose the blue and make a gradient out of it. And you can actually also choose the colors however you want them to be. So if you wanna have some little red branding on your Mac or something like that, you have the creative freedom to play around with this. Last but not least, a feature that I want to highlight here as well is the ability to have triggers. And the triggers are really cool because they give you an option to hide and show specific items depending on certain states. For example, as you can see here, show Wi-Fi when not connected is one of the triggers that you can set up in this trigger setup menu. And this I have set up because, for example, if I disable my Wi-Fi right now, you can see that this would turn green. This means this is actually activated. And now the Wi-Fi symbol showed up in my menu bar without me clicking into it or something like that. And it gives me an indicator, oh, I should probably look into this. The other thing that I use this for is for example, to indicate whether or not I have my VPN active or 
if any of the applications is currently doing something like for example Google Drive. This is set up with a image comparison so if the image of the Google Drive application does not look like this at any given moment it will actually trigger this to activate and show the Google Drive application icon which usually is hidden away in this menu but for example if it is synchronizing I want to see it in the menu bar so I know there is a certain status on that item. Now that was a quick overview of Bartender and how it changes how I use my menu bar and especially how my menu bar looks much cleaner and put together. And if you want to check out Bartender as well, I will have a link in the description or comment below. Now with all that said, have an amazing day, clean up your menu bar, and I'll see you in another one.